made this jellyfish at preschool. It lost one of its legs. Sometimes I like to wear a tutu and sometimes I like to wear a shirt. Or sometimes I like to wear the pants and a dress. My name's Rella and I like to poop in my pants. <laughs> I love that they're girly and they're into boy, like boy sports, you know what I mean? Because it just proves that it's not a boy sport anymore. It's can be girls, boys. I mean, the girls are in tutu skating and they are girly skaters. They're not really tomboys. I mean, and I think that's the best part about it. It's just showing you that cute, you know, just like anybody can do it. You really can. You don't have to be a boy. Which skateboarding competitions do you want to go to? I want to go to the one that's at like a surf place that that has a skate bowl and there's lots of hips and there's also like a spine and there's like a deep end that that's easy to kick one in and I never dropped into it but now I would. It's like nine feet. I started skateboarding when I was five. What I like working on skating is grinding. I like to do ears over hips and mm, rock and rolls. I like skating with my family because I'm involved. No, you're not. I like skating with my family because sometimes when I'm there by my, like when my mom and dad just drops my brothers and me off, sometimes I feel lonely. I'm like, mommy, daddy. But the reason I don't like the pink helmet posse the most is because uh, one of them is my little sister and little sisters and big brothers don't go well together. Um, well, the only reason the pink helmet posse started I'm, um, was because Rella and Bella knew each other and they, and they just, they didn't really, they skated together only a little bit and then, then they met Sierra and then they started taking lessons together on Sundays. So then, so then, and my dad started calling them the Pink Helmet Posse, and then, um, and then Jason started the business. Yeah. We didn't come up with the name Pink Helmet Posse. That's what they started being called because they wore pink helmets. Our whole deal was like, hey, if we're kind of in the know, and it's this hard for us to figure it out, like getting the right boards, the right sizes, the you know, getting them on decent trucks and wheels, and where to take them skating, and how to teach them just the basic things like and we're kind of in the know we all skate you know we come from surfing skateboarding backgrounds and if we're having that much trouble with it like your average person whose daughter wants to skate is going to be that much more lost and it's going to make it that much harder so our goal with this is like hey come skate with us like you know and we're saying that because we want people to come skate with our kids like yeah we want them to have other girls that they can go skate with and they're not like the only one there. It's like, hey, it's fun, come do it with them. It's awesome, you know, like, breaking down those barriers that somebody put up a long time ago said, this is that and that's this and, like, why? Why do we have to have these barriers? If that's fun, you know, it's fun, man. Like, <laughs> have fun. Do what you like to do. Don't let people define you or tell you what you can and can't do, you know? Mm -hmm.